Hello students, welcome back. In this module, we'll discuss the method of difference. Now let us see what does this concept means. Now in method of difference, let's say students, I'm given a sequence A1, A2, A3 till AN. And this sequence doesn't look like an AP or GP or AGP. And we have to find the sum of this sequence. Now students, we know that if we are able to find the nth term, we can use the summation concept. And students, what you observe over here is, that the difference between consecutive terms is forming an AP or GP. The given sequence is not an AP or GP, but the difference between the consecutive terms is forming an AP or GP. Then students, we can use this concept to find the nth term. Students, what I'm going to do is, I've written the sum of the series S as the first equation. I'm going to rewrite the given sum and I'm writing that as the second equation. Now students, I'm going to subtract these two series. I know subtracting these two series, S will cancel out with S, will obtain zero. When I'm going to subtract, the students see over here, S minus S will become equal to zero. A1, the first term remains as it is. A2 minus A1 I have formed in the bracket. A3 minus A2 have formed the second bracket and so on till An minus An minus one. The last An over here, which was over here should be minus an has gone over there on the left hand side. Now students, so an is over here. And now students, we know that difference between the consecutive terms is forming an AP or GP. Therefore, A2 minus A1, A3 minus A2 and so on can be written in form of an AP or GP and hence their sum could be found out. And hence, I'll be able to find an that is the general term. And now since I'm able to find the general term, everything terms comes down to the summation series and we know how to do that. Now students, let us take an example and understand what exactly we want to do over here. Let's say students, I'm given this series that is 5, 7, 11, 17, 25 and so on. And I want to find the sum of n terms of this series. And students note 5, 7, 11. Difference between 7 and 5 is 2. 11 and 7 is 4. 17 and 11 is 6. So difference is 2, 4, 6 and so on. So difference is forming an AP, 2, 4, 6 and so on. Therefore students, over here to find the nth term, I will use the method of difference. Sum S I have already written. Again S I am going to write it, but shifting the terms, taking the differences friends. So when I subtract, I will get Tn. You can see over here friends, on the right hand side, I have done this. Over there on the left hand side, there is zero. Tn from here will go on the left hand side. So Tn will be equal to 5 plus. So you can see over here students, the bracket, there are n minus 1 terms. First term is 2, then 4, 6, 8, that is an AP. That is sum of n minus 1 terms in AP. Sum of n minus 1 terms in AP, I have write, written the formula. It is just simple calculation now students. So Tn comes out as n square minus n plus 5. So when I have to find the sum of series, it's simple summation of Tn. And now the sum of terms would be r varies from 1 to n, summation r square minus summation r varies from 1 to n, r, plus 5 times summation r varies from 1 to n, again 1. Now it's the simple application of formula students. Summation r square is n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 divided by 6. Summation r is n into n plus 1 by 2. And we know summation r varies from 1 to n, 1 is simple n, so it becomes 5n. Calculating is simple calculation students taking out the common and now taking the LCM and then now simplifying it, I obtain the final result n by 6 into 2n square plus 28. That gives us the final answer students. Let us take one more example and understand it. So let's say students, I have to find the sum of the series 1, 5, 11, 19, 29. We have to find the sum of these n terms. Now 1 and 5 difference is 4, 5 and 11 difference is 6, 11 and 19 difference is 8. So students we can see 4, 6, 8, the difference again forms an AP. So again to find the nth term is friend, I will use the method of difference. Rewriting the series, you can see over here is friends, taking the difference on subtracting, I again obtain this series, this equation is obtained. Taking Tn on the left hand side, Tn will be equal to 1 plus sum of n minus 1 terms. First term is 4, common difference is 2. So n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 to d 
it's simple calculation now students calculating it expanding the bracket to simplify so when i expand tn comes out as n square plus n minus 1 sum of terms that is sn would be summation r varies from 1 to n tr and that would be equal to summation r varies from 1 to n r square plus r minus 1 now splitting the summation uh, and we obtain summation r varies from 1 to n r square plus summation r varies from 1 to n r minus summation r varies from 1 to n 1 substituting the formulas difference that very easy now we have remember that formula and now its calculation so taking out common and then calculating it so students we calculate and we obtain the final result and final result comes out as that would be equal to n into n square plus 3 n minus 1 whole divided by 3 students i hope you understand this example thank you